Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about global lab update for 27 January 2023 maintenance update. But be notice, all content on this global lab video was recorded on global lab server. So this is all content that will update on our live server in future. And mostly all this update will implement on Korea live server next week maintenance update. And following outside Korea server, if they already feel this content already ready to release outside Korea server globally. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle. And also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official official website for global lab update at 27 January 2023. Okay, first feature update about expansion for territory occupation benefit. In future, if your guild occupied territory, either Calpeon, Media, or Valencia, in future, Prebis will expand this territory occupation benefit on Serendia, Odelita, and Mountain of Eternal Winter Region. And as you can see, this is the table. If your guild winning Calpeon region during Seeds War, actually for Calpeon region still same as before, that you can get drop rate benefit for Calpeon region and Kama Sylvia region. But if your guild conquer media region, they just expand this media region that previously you will get benefit from media and Drikhan territory. In future, they will change it to become media, Odelita, and Mountain of Eternal Winter region for this additional 50% drop rate. Meanwhile, if you conquer Valencia region, that previously you only can get benefit from Valencia territory. In future, they will add Valencia territory, Serendi, and Rikhan area. And still about Seeds War, they also adjust some status limit for each character who participate on this Seeds War. Based on this table, for Calpeon region, they just adjust some status. But for Media region, they just remove any limit status on this Seeds War. Meanwhile, for Valencia region, that previously didn't have any limit, they just add some limitation for this Valencia Seeds War. So I think from this future update, Media Seeds War will become Endgame Seeds War that didn't have any status limit for its character who participate on this Seeds War. And then next feature update about regular season for Not War. Because previously, Pre-Abyss just changed Not War mechanic back to old method and they do pre-season for this Not War. In future, they will release this regular season for Not War and they just make some confirmation for its tier not for this season Not War. And for more detail about this table, you can check yourself on this video description that I already put link for this translated website in this video description. Okay, next feature update about not investment change, especially for its improvement. If you invest some node, in future they will increase level node that you invest to become maximum at level 20 that previously we only can level it up until level 10 only. And they also change some mechanic from this node investment that in future its level of this node investment will increase your drop rate by 0.5% per level. And also this increase drop rate mechanic in future this is will apply for specific monster for specific node. So this additional drop rate not apply for any monster that located on specific node anymore. It's mean because previously this drop rate mechanic only apply for any monster that located on affiliated node only. So for example if you grinding on me remote ruin that Mirumok Monster Zone have three location that you need to invest previously. In future, you only need to invest on one node only, and all monster that related with Mirumok will get benefit from this node investment to get additional drop rate. As shown on this table, that you only need to invest on Mirumok Queen only to get benefit all monster related with this Mirumok. And for more detail about any monster that affected for its node location, you can check on this video description for this long table. And another good news from this improvement, if you get benefit from this not investment, this not investment benefit will exceed from 300 limit for increased item drop rate, but this maximum item drop rate cannot surpass than 400% from this not investment. So if you level up any node to become level 20, that its level will increase 0.5%. In total, if you have level 20 node, you will get additional 10% drop rate that will surpass limit 300% from any other drop rate buff. 
and this is the table for energy required for its level not investment at before and after this change. But on this website, they didn't mention anything if you already level up your node to become level 10 previously. And when this update come, if our node will become level 10 or become level 14, because we already invest 11,350 energy previously before this update come. So just wait until this update implement to our live server to get confirmation about this update for our previous investment for specific node. And from this table, they also mention mechanic for this drop rate bonus will not RNG anymore that previously we have 10% chance to get additional 50% drop rate and in future they will make this drop rate increase to become fixed based on level for its not investment. Okay, next about character improvement and class balancing. First about character improvement, they just improve some skill description, but I think this is just for example to give more detailed information on its skill description in future. And next some class balancing for some class. First about ranger class. On this week global lab update, ranger got some nerf, especially for its PvP damage. That Prebis will nerf this three skill for ranger awakening skill, but for PvP damage only and PvE damage still same as before and also for ranger awakening they just make some adjustment for stamina consumption and next for ninja class for ninja didn't have any class balancing they just fix some issue and i think this is not a big deal and next for wizard and witch wizard and witch got some improvement first about wizard class they just improve some skill by reducing its skill cooldown and also they just improve fire skill for wizard to become have higher damage for pve and also higher critical hit chance but for monster only and for pvp damage reduction they also reduce it so i think from this improvement pvp damage still same or just little increase from this change and they just make this skill to become instantly unleashed when you using this skill and also another wizard skill especially for its skill animation just got improvement and for more detailed improvement you can check on its skill animation below and for another skill they just reduce its skill cooldown from 15 second to become 7 second only but stamina consumption they just increase it 50 point than before and for another fire skill they also got some buff especially for its skill cooldown that they just reduce it than before and also its skill damage they just increase it but pvp damage still same as before and same thing for witch class that they just increase some skill for witch class to become have less cooldown than before and for any other improvement for witch skill mostly they just buff any witch skill to become more faster and deal more damage than before after this update come. Okay, next some improvement for Psy class, especially for Psy talent skill to buff any ally nearby. In future range to get this skill buff from Psy, they will change it to become in forward direction from Psy character so you can more easy to aim to buff any ally in front of your Psy character. And for more detail for this new skill animation that will working in front of your Psy, this is how it's look for its skill animation for its Psy talent buff. So after this update come, you can more easy to buff any ally in front of your Psy character instead around her. And next for sets class, in future succession set skill will got some nerf, especially for its PvP damage that they will increase PvP damage reduction rate for this two prime skill. But instead that they just improve some skill damage to become have more damage than before and for pvp damage for this skill they also increase it by reducing its pvp damage reduction and then for another skill they also just increase its hit damage to become more higher than before and next some adjustment for megu class in future for megu movement skill they just improve its movement skill combo so you can move more smoothly using her movement skill in future and also for megu doppelganger skill especially for minimap location they will change this icon to become have ping indicator to distinguish with any other icon on your minimap and there are some damage balancing for megu class but mostly they just nerf pvp damage for megu skill especially for this seven skill that they will reduce its pvp damage by increasing pvp damage reduction rate 
but they also give some improvement for Megu's skill, especially for its hit damage, for Megu succession, and for any other skill balancing for Megu class, you can check on this video description for more detailed info, but take notice all chains for this Megu succession skill that they just implement on Black Desert Global Lab server, this is cannot be checked on Global Lab update yet, and they will update it later on official server directly. And next, in future, they will add additional crystal preset slot and also expansion for crystal bag. That in future, if you check your crystal slot from your black spirit, you can expand your crystal preset slot to become 10 preset. And also, in future, this crystal bag, they will increase it to become can hold 100 crystal at the same time. But to expand this crystal slot preset to become 10, and also to increase maximum crystal bag, you can get one piece even crystal preset slot expansion coupon. And and also even crystal preset back expansion coupon that will increase by 5 slot by finishing special quest line for this crystal preset expansion that requirement to do this quest you need to have your character level 58 or higher and also complete previous quest for another belt that you can accept this quest from your black spirit but take notice this quest you only can complete it once per family and for more detail about this quest i will guide you later when this content implement to our live server so just stay tuned on Chris Poly channel. And then you can get additional crystal preset slot expansion coupon and also even crystal preset back expansion coupon by purchasing it from loyalty shop. But they also mention you can purchase this crystal preset expansion slot and crystal back expansion also from per shop. But for more detail how much cost this expansion coupon from loyalty and per shop, they didn't info it yet on this global lab update. And next, they will add some side quests on Odelita region. The this side quest will show you some story for any NPC on Odelita region. And also in future, they will add additional contribution daily quest on Oderexia in Odelita region. So you can get more contribution point by doing daily quest on Oderexia in future. And next about seasonal content, especially for Megu and Wosa during this winter season 2022, that in future they will add exchange feature for Tufala main weapon to become Tufala pendant either for Megu and Wosa from Fugar NPC. And next some quality of life improvement, in future they will add skip animation when you want to set your skill add-ons from any skill in structure NPC. And also some quality of improvement for enhancing method, in future if you using Blackstone to get some file stack instantly, in future Black Spirit will remember your last file stack that you use from your Blackstone, so you didn't need to choose number of Blackstone continuously if you want to use same file stack from previous one. And next, some quality of life for Monster Zone info. In future, if you click any tag on this Monster Zone info, this page will show you any Monster Zone that have this tag only, so you can filter it more easy than before. And also some quality of life improvement especially for farming user interface in future they will give more information from this farming window in future they will give some yellow warning icon that will display if your fence will be removed less than seven days automatically and red warning icon will display if there are less than two days before your fence got removed by automatic do expire time for your farming content because you didn't touch this content anymore and then for any other fix and chance, I think all of this not to a big deal. Okay, that's all future update of Black Desert World from last Global Lab update at 27 January 2023. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Killsteel, Wemi, Bebu, Iliana Nico, Detraki, Divine Blur, Grosak, Snot, S Gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. 
and I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description, or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.